If you chewed with your mouth open, I have fantasized about making you cry. I buy you the most expensive dinner and we go and, you know, drive in my Lamborghini. I feel like I'm on like The Bachelorette or something. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Hannah Maloche, I'm 18, and today my sister and I are at 17. Hi, I'm Ella Maloche and I'm 17 years old, and we're gonna find her a bay today. Hannah is the perfect person to find me a bay because she's my sister and she's known me my whole life and she's known all the boys that I've dated before, so <laughs> she knows my type. Well, Ella has only had one real boyfriend, so... Well, that's okay. not a bad thing. Like, official. But, like, I feel like you like sweet guys that have a lot of your personality. Like, you like a boy that's just, like, copy-paste you. <laughs> what I look for in a boy, first, most importantly, is definitely humor. I'm a, like, very lighthearted person and I don't take things seriously, like, ever, so I need someone who can joke around with me. Um, I look for someone who's tall, because I'm very tall. I look for someone who's athletic, someone who's very nice and selfless. I'm also looking for someone who's smart, but not smarter than me. Who do you think is attractive? Uh, like, Zac Efron, like every other girl in the, in the like... And, like, the universe. <laughs> like, the universe, like, what? <laughs> Something um, like that. Let's think. Like, Shawn Mendes? Oh, yeah, Shawn Mendes is very attractive. If Anna picks a terrible guy, I honestly won't be that mad. But if she picks me a good guy, I'll be like, yeah, this is great. Hey, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, this is great. <laughs> All right, let's go find her a bay. Let's go get me a bay. <laughs> Hi, my name's Theron, I'm 18, and I was born in South Africa, and when I was a baby there, I was bitten by a king cobra, and I have the scar to prove it. So I'm Nate, I'm 18 years old, and I once had fish that lived in a tank so dirty, all three of them killed themselves. Oh. <laughs> my name is Dash, I'm 18, and when I was really little, I was afraid of the accordion. My name is Jarrett, I'm 19 years old, and one time I snuck into one of Donald Trump's golf course and stole golf balls and ran from the police. Hello, my name is Caden, I'm 19 years old, and I recorded a rat getting run over by a subway and got 14 million views. What? My name is Arion, I'm 19 years old, and once I got over 10 hours of detention in high school for shaving half of my head for the 2018 FIFA World Cup commercials. My name's JP, I'm 19 years old, and I have an Instagram account where I make funny videos with mini apples. Hi, my name is Kells, I'm 19 years old, and when I was seven, I lit my hair on fire with a candle. Hi, I'm Michael, I'm 18, and I love to sing Frank Sinatra in the shower really badly. What's going on? My name is Ricky, I'm 18, and when I was seven, I wanted to be Spider-Man so badly, I tried to get a spider to bite me. Okay, first, I just wanna say you guys all seem very sweet and confident, so I'm loving you all so far. Um, everyone sounded really good, everyone sounds really nice, and I'm excited to hear more. So, Ella is 17, she's a senior in high school, she plays lacrosse, she's very athletic, she's very funny, she's very smart. Okay, so now I guess I'm gonna start asking you guys some questions. All right, so Ella loves dad jokes, so do any of you have any? What do you call it when you put a watch on a belt? Um, I don't know. <laughs> a waste of time. Oh, that, well, that's a good one. <laughs> I just don't like dad jokes. I'm like, it's gonna be a really awkward reaction from me because I'm just gonna be like, it's all up to Ella, okay. Okay, what do you call a magic owl? I don't know. Houdini. That's good. Thank you, thanks. <laughs> Uh, what did the horse say to the other horse? Hey. Perché la fiaccia lunga? Oh. The, the horse is Italian. But, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's really good. oh, period. That means why the long face. So, my wife got really mad at me because I'm really bad with directions, so I packed my stuff and write. Wait, I didn't get that one. And you write? What does that mean? And left. Oh! oh. oh. Wait, that's, <laughs> that's really good! good. <laughs> What's the best thing about Switzerland? You tell me. I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. Uh, ha -ha. Mm. <laughs> Why did the pitcher go to jail? I don't know. Because it was framed. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah, I could have guessed that one. <laughs> so how do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so what does a sprinter eat before a marathon? 
don't know. Nothing, they're fast. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, two guys walk into a bar. The bartender says, that looks like it hurt. What? They walk into a bar. Uh, oh! Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> so my friend tells me he has a date, and he comes to me for advice where to take her. I say, take her to the graveyard. He says, why? I say, people are dying to get in there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yours are all kind of scary. All the things you said so far are kind of scary. I'm like... Okay. I'm sorry, I literally just roasted you about the spider thing and the dying <laughs> thing, but I'm like, it's a little scary. <laughs> Sky yeah. go. That's all right. Bye. I don't know, I feel like I was being pretty charismatic, but I'm kind of a little bit disappointed, because if, I, I think it's kind of for the best though, because if you can't vibe with my humor, I don't know if it's going to work out. Honestly, I kind of thought I was going to be the first one out going in, so. So, Ella really likes athletic boys. So, what sports have you guys played? I was captain of my swim, varsity swim team for all four years of high school. Um, I also was captain of my lacrosse team as well. Ooh. I played soccer and basketball, but yeah. That was Ella's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> captain of the lacrosse team. Um, so, I threw for track and field for two or th uh, three years of high school. I did shot put and discus. Awesome. Yeah. I play pickup basketball games and I skate and I play drums and I think that's a sport because it takes energy and my arms hurt after. Uh, my dad taught me baseball growing up and uh, in high school I switched to track for two years. So I did soccer throughout all of middle school and then uh, freshman year of high school I did volleyball but then throughout the rest of my high school experience I actually was behind the scenes recording football games, soccer games and making different videos for my school. I did um, varsity swimming for my four years of high school. I also played basketball, tennis, and baseball. Oh, wow. So I played football and baseball in high school, and I have some mean skills on the ping pong table. Oh, that little <laughs> move. <laughs> so I played basketball, racquetball, handball, and volleyball. I played hockey for 14 years, and I was the captain of my varsity hockey team in my senior year of high school. I feel like we both like lacrosse guys, mm -hmm. and I, I've always been into basketball boys. Honestly, any sport that's like a contact sport. I have to eliminate you, Dash, because you didn't play any actual sports, and I know the jumps is a sport too, but that not to Ella. That sounded cool though. What? That sounded cool. Oh! <laughs> Bye. <laughs> not my fault. I feel bad. She wanted sports. I said I play drums. She said drumming isn't a sport, so now my heart's broken. So Ella has a couple big pet peeves, so I guess I'm just wondering what your guys' are. My biggest pet peeve is gossiping and lying, and yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, so my biggest pet peeve is when people tell me what I just said. You know, they'll like try and correct uh, me, but I know what I just said. Oh, or they like put words in your mouth? Yeah, exactly, okay, gotcha. yeah. If you chewed with your mouth open, I have fantasized about making you cry. Ooh, that's like one of her biggest pet mm -hmm. peeves is when people chew with their mouth open. Okay. My biggest pet peeve has to be when I'm in class and there is clearly a whiteboard and a chalkboard, but the teacher refuses to use the whiteboard and just uses the chalkboard. I absolutely oh. hate any time someone writes on the chalkboard. See, that wasn't a problem for us because we, we only had whiteboards. <laughs> we were old school in my school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My biggest pet peeve is when you're talking to someone and all of a sudden they either like pick up the phone and just like run out or something yeah. and they're not listening at you at all. They're just like on my phone. Yeah. Yeah, it's super annoying. My biggest pet peeve is constant double texting within an hour or two. Like texting is good, I'm all for texting, but people have lives. Give me some time. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So my biggest pet peeve is when people think I'm lying. You know, like when I'm not, when, when I'm being dishonest, and I'm yeah. like that, that hurts. Yeah, yeah. So my biggest pet peeve is one-word answers. So I hate that K text, and I hate when somebody's, "How was your day? Good." Yeah. I want to have a conversation with somebody. Yeah. A pet peeve is when people like don't have table manners and they can't chew with their mouth closed. I, I hate people. that. Yeah, it's like my, I yell I, at my I family. literally hate that. That's yeah. the worst. But you do it. No, I don't. <laughs> you do. I yell at you all the time. I have to because Ella and I always text back and forth like a lot. Like we're annoying. I'm like, Ella, where are you? Da 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 da. And I constantly annoy her. So I think that's a deal breaker. <laughs> Doing this. 
Double texting is within such a short a period of time, if you don't respond, people say, where are you, what are you doing, why aren't you responding? I'm gonna respond when I'm free. To be honest, the timing, the elimination kind of worked out because I have a date planned in about 30 minutes. I just wanna know how you guys would break up with someone. I guess you just meet in like a communal place. Don't do it in like her house or my house. Yeah, just meet in a communal place and just be honest. Don't yeah. don't say it's not me, it's you, or yeah, yeah, be yeah. fake about it all. Just say what's just on say your what mind. And yeah. Don't be mean, obviously. Yeah. But, yeah. Like I personally, I never do anything important over text. I always make sure it's in yeah. person. And again, I would just, you know, be honest, say everything that's on my mind and try and make it as, you know, well handled as well as possible. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to do it in person also, but like in a place that I know she would feel more comfortable in. Yeah. So like not in a place that like, you know, I would break up with her, like no matter how the breakup went, mm -hmm. and then like, you know, after we separate, she's kind of like in an uncomfortable place. Yeah. Like a place that like, you know, like, like she can just like kind of rest for a little bit and like process things. Yeah. Especially yeah. if it came like down on her hard. Yeah, exactly. Well, I would never personally beat around the bush because I've met a lot of people in my life who have been like, they don't get straight to the point. They're always like making up excuses. They never tell me the truth. So um, if I were to break up with someone, I would just be brutally honest and, um, you know, just at the same time care about what they have to say to me as well as hopefully they care about what I have to say to them. Yeah. See, you guys are all good guys. I'm like, I don't like this eliminating thing. Yeah. I would definitely do it in person. Mm -hmm. And I would definitely, like, I would tell her the reason for it, but I wouldn't just do it in, like, in a sentence. Mm -hmm. I would have respect mm -hmm. for her feelings. Mm -hmm. And I would, like, clearly explain what happened and how it happened mm -hmm. and what came to this, you know? Yeah, yeah, I agree. So I would do it in person, you know, wherever place that she wants to go to talk. And also, while talking, I want her to understand, you know, why, my reason, and I want, and I'll let her, you know, speak her reason, you know, because it's, it's a really tough moment mm -hmm. and then you know it gets emotional then maybe when we you know understand each other I and mean, just hug it out you know yeah. it's better to hug it out yeah so I would want to be honest about it I wouldn't want to lie to her but I would want to make sure she's okay so uh, it's you know you've shared this time with this person and it's really important to make sure that she's all right because at, at some point and on some level you do still care about her even though you don't want to yeah. be in a relationship you gotta make sure she's all right See, like, what? You guys are all great guys. A bad answer is always, like, over the phone no matter what. Yeah. Like, when people do over the phone, it's just, like, That's it's not respectful. No. Okay, I don't even want to look at you. I feel like I'm breaking up with you right now. Kaden, I think the whole no sports thing. I know you video, uh, you okay. did middle school. Yeah. But I think, I think that's the only reason I have to eliminate you. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> oh, no. This is the Bye. worst. Bye. I hate doing this. I feel like I did good. I'm just, you know, I'll find my someone someday. I felt like there was a lot of potential there. And you know what? She missed out, but at the same time, she couldn't control it. It was the bestie, so the bestie missed out. Okay, so Ella really likes her movies and TV shows. Um, so I guess what was the last TV show or two TV shows you binged? The last one is The End of the Effing World, season two. That was good. good. Yeah. Um, also, I always watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, constantly. Okay, I've never heard show. of that one. Okay, so I am just all about The Office. Mm -hmm. I love The Office. Mm -hmm. I re really, when I watch TV, all it is is just like, anytime I watch a different show, it's just a break from re-watching The Office. Really? Yes, I just love it so much. My best friend and I recently binge watched Riverdale. Yes. Yes. I love Riverdale. And also, Big Mouth was really good. I love binge watching lots of TV shows, but if I just had to choose two, um, Friends, for sure, and Riverdale. I love that show okay, a lot, yeah. yeah. Both great ones. So I binge watched on um, It's the End of the Effing World. Uh -huh. And then also there's another show called Lunatics. It's with an Australian comedian called Chris Lilly. I love him so much, he's so funny. It's a comedy? Yeah, it's a comedy. Oh, okay, that's awesome. So, cool. so uh, last TV show I watched was The Kaminsky Method which is, uh, it's about an acting coach who's not doing so well, and the other show was Friends. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Like, I love Phineas and Ferb yeah. and, like, like, cartoon movies. <laughs> I feel like if, yeah, they like Harry Potter, then that's... So that's a good answer. Okay, Ariane, I'm sorry. It's just, there's a vibe. I'm picking up, I'm picking something up. <laughs> you gotta go. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I hate this. I literally Bye. like so sad about all these. I have a really good personality, and the best she did say she likes models, I'm a model, so I think it would have worked out. 
So Ella is 5'11", so... And a half. <laughs> so I might have to ask you guys how tall you are. I'm 6'1". Last time I was measured, I am also 5'11 and a half. I'm six feet. I'm actually 5'6". Yeah. <laughs> We're all like... Shh. I'm 5'8 and a half. I'm also 6'1". She doesn't really like guys that are like a lot shorter than her. Mm -mm. All right, we gotta go. I'm sorry, dab on him. You're out of here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Adios. Bye. The audacity. They asked for height, which is a low for me, literally. Okay, so this is kind of a weird one, but how often do you guys go on TikTok? Slash, do you like it? Yeah, so I just recently got TikTok, probably a few weeks ago, obsessed. I probably spend way too much time, like, yeah, love it. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've made a couple, a couple, you know, goofy videos with my buds, and the, uh, the one thing I've been trying to do is learn the dances, but mm -hmm. I just, I'm, I'm just not able to get them at all. Yeah, yeah. same. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, it's like, oh, sh like, twist. See, yeah, you're doing it. Right, there it's it something is. like that. Yeah. Yep. There it is. <laughs> you can do it. Well, I watch a lot in, like, YouTube, and especially the one where it's, like, um, it's like a girl, and like she, you know, she looks pretty, and then she puts like a hoodie over it and makes it look like a, um, like a guy, and then like the, the people watching it get like surprised and stuff. You know? Oh, like, it's like a reaction. Yeah, thing? A reaction. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. So I recently just got into it too. Uh, a lot of my friends were raving about it, so I, I you know, I figured I'd give it a try, and uh, actually, I, I think it's pretty fun. I can't, I can't do any of the dances. Yeah. But it uh, doesn't mean I haven't made a few. Oh really? <laughs> oh, got a few TikTokers amongst us. <laughs> do they have TikTok? Ella's a but like, if it's Ella. not like, not but like, a, not like the serious TikTokers, you know? Like they're just on there. As like a they're joke. just like it's like a joke, like it's just whatever thing. Yeah, because Ella's a big TikToker. All right, Kels, we gotta go. Yeah. It's the height. It's the uh, height. I know, I know it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> I got eliminated because the girl was like five inches taller than me, <laughs> so yeah. So my question to you guys is what is your dream date? Dream date. You gotta have like mix of both, like everything. So yeah. first we go amusement park, you know, okay. have some fun, okay. carnival. Yeah. Knows. Um, and then after that you gotta go have like a picnic on a beach, and, like talk and just get to know each other if it's a first date. Or, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right, obviously I buy you the most expensive dinner and we go and, you know, drive in my Lamborghini. No, I'm totally kidding. I'm like, wait, what? No. Um, so living in the city has been really cool because I've got to, gotten to see, like, a, a ton of beautiful sights. Mm -hmm. So I would, um, you know, do a quick dinner and then walk around the city, um, take her to some, some really amazing stuff I've seen. So I would cap it off with a ride on the ferry because it's a beautiful view of the skyline. So my idea of a dream date would be uh, I'd have to take her to some live music. Mm -hmm. I love music, and I, I, I do need somebody who loves music as well. Yeah. Uh, at okay. just at night, see the city. Yeah. M maybe. I mean, I'd like to find a place where we can talk. Yeah. Just just one-on-one well, -on -one conversation is always yeah. so important. But you know, some something spectacular, something with a view that yeah. really hits home, and you can really appreciate not only the view but the person you're with. I just like the other two dates better. A little bit, so yeah. You okay. Know it. Bye. 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 <laughs> My date idea was not um, everything she wanted it to be, so it's all right. Uh, I feel like if she got to know the real me, there would probably be some sort of connection, and it would be it would be a little bit better. Okay. Why should I choose you for my sister? You should choose me because um, I think I'm a funny guy. Um, I like get to know people, I like making people laugh and just talking, listening to, um, and I think I can be the guy whenever she's down or she needs yeah. lifting up, I can be she there or just up. to just talk yeah. Yeah, and hang out and have it. fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know I'm a good boyfriend, right? <laughs> I, I do. I, ha I do. I have a little confidence about me, but <laughs> I, I just I ha I love having that person to just go through life with, right? Mm -hmm. The ups and the downs. I'll always be there for her Ella is when wifey. she's down. <laughs> I'll always be there for her when she's up. I support her no matter what. Uh, she has her things. I love coming out of my comfort zone, right? I'm very transparent. Uh, I'm always honest. I would never lie, and I. I got that little confidence. I, I know I would be good. Yeah, you guys are both great base. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask my mom really quick? Okay. <laughs>
Okay. She said. <laughs> oh, okay. So I really like both of you. Um, I think you're a little more chill, but I think I like the confidence a little more. So I think you're gonna okay. be eliminated in Mike you one. But, <laughs> but that's just, I had to discuss with mom even. I'm like, I want you both to be paid up with Ella. Bye. I won. I definitely think um, me being nervous and like through being first on the questions was difficult and I wasn't truly like myself. Like the last guy, he just had more confidence and I think he was the right guy for Ella. When do I take my mind <laughs> okay, okay, take her off. Hi, Mike. Hey, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Mike was very confident. He seems like a very sweet, considerate guy. And I love my sister. She's my best friend. I know her very well. And Mike seems like the best fit. Oh, she's gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> Thanks, <babe>. <laughs> <laughs> you're cute. Yeah. Thank you. You're all cute. <laughs> I was like, I, when I, when I was I'm listening. not gorgeous. Oh, yeah, no. you're beautiful. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> when I was listening to you, though, I, your, all of your answers did sound really good. And I was like, all of yours were sounding better no, than the other like, ones. Awesome. I was like, Mike. I was like, it's, cool. it's been Mike the whole time. Yeah. I'm so excited to finally introduce Bay to Bay, <laughs> face to face. My best, you sure did pick my Bay. Ooh, I thought the first date one was a little rough. I did, because I didn't say specifics. I thought maybe I should elaborate a little bit more, but I, I think the general idea, I think she got it. I've always been a big sports guy, so I was, you know, 14 years on the hockey team. I like hockey. It was weird because I couldn't see anyone and I just wanted to like, it was just weird because I didn't know who like, couldn't put like a name to a face or anything. I'm just excited to get to know my new bae. <laughs> <laughs> my bestie picked my bae. I, I knew it. <laughs> you probably could tell when I was eliminating people that I'm just not the biggest fan of doing that. So that was a little hard on me and I just felt bad because they're all, or they seem like genuinely great guys. I thought what's the second guy looked really nice and I felt like bad because they both had really good answers. Yeah, I, I mean like I felt bad for eliminating them and I just didn't like that part. But like I also didn't want to mess up and because I didn't want her to get mad at me for like eliminating someone oh, yeah. she might like. But yeah. you did good. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Thank you so much for watching and for more videos like this, subscribe to Seventeen's YouTube channel. Bye. <laughs>